thought that we were gonna take a break this week. Why? I just feel like we need a break. We're like 60 some episodes into the show. We took a break last year and no one came back with us. Good point. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Hello and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we- What? He's where? We have a viewer? Screen? What? A, a view screen. On screen? Thank you. It's great to be here. Is it though? Well, I spent the last 30 hours or so on a bus. Bus? Who gave him bus money? Well, I don't know if you guys remember the plan, but we talked about, you know, you beam me down to somewhere in the States, and then you beam me back up after I buy a Mountain Dew, and then you beam me back down somewhere in Canada, I buy another one, and then we do the segment. Pretty sure we didn't say that. Oh, that was... it, it definitely <laughs> happened. I think I'd remember that. We formed a committee. Do you don't remember any of that? I thought he was still dead. That's... it's interesting you'd say that. Uh, I, I think it was actually Patrick's idea to form a committee so we could do this efficiently. I do love being on committees though. You know, everyone meets and you all talk about the same things and, and you get free coffee and Timbits and there's little name plates and the lanyards. I do love a lanyard. It's true, you, you do love a lanyard. Exactly, but I don't remember that committee. First you dropped me off in, in a, a very nice wooded area of uh, Wisconsin. Uh, it looked very picturesque. Then I realized it was in the middle of nowhere, the sun was setting, and it was freezing cold. So that's when the terror first set in. Uh, then I realized I didn't actually, you didn't tell me where you were dropping me off. I only found out where I was later when I eventually found a store and I, I bought the, the Mountain Dew. Uh, I'm sorry there, Smitty. Are, are you going through a, a tunnel? No, we're going through a tunnel. Somebody's going through a tunnel. Somebody's going through a tunnel, yeah. No, somebody's... Are you still talking? Are you still... We can't hear you. No, can't hear you. No, no. can't. I'm not done with my story yet. Actually, we'll see. We will see the Mountain Dew. But first, I'd like you to know what I've been through. Because I think it's important that we discuss this and it becomes a learning lesson for both of you. Uh, Are you still but, talking? Uh, Can you do but, what? Uh, everything's um, uh, perfectly all right now. Uh, we're fine. We're we're all fine now. Uh, thank you. How are you? So anyway, I had to rent a car, and then I found a a gas station. And I put gas in it, and then I had some other supplies, and uh, I realized that you guys weren't you know, gonna beam me back up to the ship, so I had to get hotels and food and all that stuff. I, I emailed you guys all the receipts. What is he, what is he doing? We, he... I don't, I don't know. I did, in fact, just sleep at a bus stop for four days, and then uh, that was after I arrived in Winnipeg and uh, purchased the Canadian version of the Mountain Dew. That's why you hate this show. Exactly. I just want to know if the pop is good. I wanted to put it in his mouth and say it's good. I, I didn't sign on for a monologue. Oh, would you like to get to the Mountain Dew? That's what you're, okay, excited about. So, first of all, here's the American version of this uh, delicious nectar of the gods, Mountain Dew. And this is the Canadian version. You can see the Canadians are enjoying a nice contest right now involving uh, some sort of basketball video game. The Americans, uh, they're promoting something called the Do Nation Rewards. Don't know much about that, but uh, 
All I do know is that all I've heard was how much more caffeine was in the American compared to the Canadian. Okay, so uh, I think I'll start off with um, the American. Here we go. Set the, uh, I just set the Canadian one down there in the snow. Keep it nice and cool. It is very chilly here. Yes. Actually, I also have to uh, be mindful that when I tip up this bottle, it doesn't uh, intersect with the background because this liquid in the bottle is green and the background is also uh, where did I say it was? Was it Moose Jaw? Winnipeg. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, um, hmm. Wow, it's really interesting whenever, um, a beverage makes you more thirsty after you drink it. It's, uh, I don't drink... Uh, sugary uh, beverages very often. I used to love them. Uh, then I kind of, uh, you know, got to the point in life where you can get a hangover from Pepsi. So, kind of cut it out. But, hey, look, I'm doing it. Man, I... I'm not joking. It's my tongue. It's almost like a numbing sensation. Not like uh, Oragel. Not like Novocaine. But there is like a, like a nanofilm over my tongue. And yeah, it's almost like my tongue's wearing uh, like a surgical glove. Am I supposed to uh, cleanse my palate? Maybe with... Just one moment. cleansing my palate. Mm. Don't make fun of the pink sippy cup. This is the Canadian version. Uh, I hope I'm a winner. If I win this uh, contest, the grand prize at least, uh, I might not be coming back. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know what the prize actually is yet. I might have to answer a skill testing question. What is up with that? They don't want dumb people to win prizes. That's discrimination. Hmm. I don't know, it's like, just taste. What flavor is it? Like, I've, I used to live in Banff, Alberta. This is legit, by the way. I used to live in Banff, Alberta, and I've tasted the dew in it, like just on grass in the fields, just because I wanted to see what mountain dew tasted like. This is, it's almost like, do you ever have uh, like watermelon or grape gum? And you're like, this doesn't taste like any grapes or watermelon. I've ever tasted before in my life. This Mountain Dew is, it's like that, but times 10, because this is not as refreshing as Mountain Dew, the legit Mountain Dew. Um, you know what, let's do a side by side, because quite honestly, I can't, uh, I didn't really taste much of a difference. Pick a color. Blue. That's purple. First, we'll try the Canadian, because that's what I was just drinking. Hmm. Yep, that's a sh boatload of sugar. You know what? The American has more carbonation, which is interesting because I picked this up and drove uh, quite a while. It got hot, cold again, bounced around, but it seems to have more carbonation. And the Canadian one almost... 
I want to verify my theory here. The Canadian one seems thicker. It seems like, uh, man, if you were to compare it to water, this is thicker. That's for sure. This is, this is gross. This is really gross. Um, caffeine contents of the American Mountain Dew is 91 milligrams. Caffeine content for the Canadian version is, let's see here. Where would it be? They don't make that easy to find. Oh, caffeine content. 86? That's really hard to read, but I'd say about 86. So, pretty close, actually, with caffeine. Although, uh, you know, Americans gotta have more, I guess. Let me set those back down in the uh, snow so I can thank you guys for the opportunity to be your little field reporter here. Uh, it was uh, great to see a little bit of uh, Winnipeg. Uh, I see that there's actually uh, there's like a big white dog coming over here. That's the biggest dog I have ever seen. That is the very interesting. Hello, how are you? Wow, you're really tall. Um, uh oh. 